Yo, what's cracking? It's your man Lecrae, aka Crazy Crayola, the bond servant. Right now, you listening to the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, and Jeremiah. I see you, boy. Hold it down. Yeah. Back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. All right. It's another installment of the crazy segment called Dissect. All right. Today, we are going to be doing Beyonce Bow Down. Toya, take it away. All right. The first verse. I'm out that H town, coming, coming down. I'm coming down, dripping candy on the ground. H H town, town. I'm coming down, coming down, dripping candy on the ground. I know when you were little girls, you drink dreamed of being in my world. Don't forget it, don't forget it. Respect that. Bow down, bees. I took some time to live my life, but don't think I'm just his little wife. Don't get it twisted, get it twisted. This my sh. Bow down, bees. I pause right there for you guys to comment. Uh, yeah, wow. this is Beyonce. Beyonce. And she's never done anything like this, to my knowledge. Um, uh, uh, she has. Yeah. Not a, she has. I mean, she'll you know she'll throw in her little words here and there, and it's over a tight beat, and she's got a cute face, so you don't really you know you kind of let it slide. But this one's like overt. I think that's why it's hitting us. Okay. All right. And then the next the next one. Bow down bees. Bow down bees. Bow down bees. She says that over and over. <laughs> Let's go to the next verse. I've been on. I've been on. I've been on. Tell me who gonna take me off. Take me off. Take me off. Take me off. Rolling high, Leather and Lewis, keep it trill, that's what's good. Kiss my mama, show that love, pop them bottles in that club. I heard your boo was talking lip. I told my crew to smack that trick, smack that trick, smack that trick. Guess what they did? Smack that trick. Gold everything, gold butt chain, gold butt rings, gold butt fangs. You can see me stunt when you turn and you scream. You can see me stunt when you turn and you scream. I'm bigger than life. My name in the lights. I'm the number one chick. Ain't need no hype. The capital B means I'm about that life. The capital B means I'm about that life. Mm. We know she about that life. What's this last part? And you guys ready for the, the last verse? Yeah. I'm into my baby hair with my Dookie Braids Frenches. <laughs> Boo Dane in the parking lot. Shout out to Willie D. I was in that Willie D video when I was about 14. Looking crazy. Shout out Pimp C. You know we used to sneak and listen to that UGK. Didn't do your, your girl, but your sister was all right. D word. <laughs> in your home, homeboy's caddy last night. Hold up. Texas Trail. H-Town going down, man. Beyonce, bow down. <laughs> wow. So, uh, what y'all think about Beyonce? What's she doing with that? This is under the Carter administration. She is glorifying wow. herself. Y'all can enjoy, I'm telling you, man. You think this she is She says, I'm bigger Jay-Z. than life. Jay Z was like, babe, you know you the baddest in the game. Why don't you sing somebody? Yeah. Wait, is this in response to somebody? I heard that this was in response to Keisha Cole. No, Keisha Cole responded to the song saying like... Uh, so it, this was about Keisha no, Cole? No, this was before um, Keisha Cole responded to the song, um, but I don't think it's about her. But I think um, she responded to the song saying basically like, how are you going to talk about girls rule the world? And then all of a sudden you want to talk about bow down beats? Like, really? So... So she basically was saying, like, you united us, and then all of a sudden, you, we got to bow down to you. That's what I'm telling you, man. This is the Carter administration. I'm telling y'all. Y- y- y'all don't get Jay-Z. Jay-Z's an influencer, man. I'm telling you. So is Beyonce. Mm. Jay-Z's an influencer. I'm, tell- I'm telling y'all. Mm. So you're saying that he put this in her? Like, think- she wasn't this before? I don't think if she was, it was very suppressed. Because you think about it. I remember... Um, People are like Beyonce ain't that nice, man. She 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 just playing to be nice. Cause every time you see her, she's respectable. She I mean from the public view, she's respectable. She ain't saying nothing crazy like this. But I'm telling you, man, I think Jay Z since the new management. This is very different from Say My Name. Yeah. Bills, bills, bills. bills. All the like Ten Commandments yeah. songs. 
<laughs> they always like artists at their earlier stage better than their later stage. You know what I mean? Like, I like Lil Wayne when he was bling bling. The lyrics weren't so nasty. When he was 11, you mean? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> when he was like, like 12, 19, 16. Yeah, yeah, I liked it better bling, though. Bling, everybody coming in. Yeah. Hmm? Why you don't like it? I didn't know that was him. What? what? It was a group song. Though. A bling, song. Bling, bling. bling. Every every time he brags around. about that every chance he gets that he came up with it. Mm-hmm. But I think the whole the whole sound of the song sounds left field for her. If you actually heard the song. It's just like the whole second half of that is chopped and screwed. So it sounds like it's another person talking. Mm-hmm. And she's just going in. And it's like... I. I never took her for somebody who needed to stoop down and and respond to other people. Like, if, if she's really looked at as the best, what business does she have in resorting to this? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't get it. Why Why does she have to do that? Has she commented on this at all? I mean, I know there have been some inquiries. You know, I, I look at the I look at the industry. I look at the, the entertainment industry. And I wonder, is it that people... Does anybody watch the game TV show? Mm-hmm. Okay. I used this to. past episode, it made me think about something when she said something about how childhood celebrities have to keep going. They have to fight for every dollar and every every scene and every um, audition. I wonder, does it get to a point where people get so hung up on having to produce another song or produce another movie that they're willing to just put anything out there that will take the attention off the next song coming out, you know, or give them some leeway before the next big thing has to drop. Because to me, it just seems like some of the best actors, some of the best entertainers are putting out just flop projects just because. My thing is, how does Beyonce get away with all this stuff, man? The, her and Jay-Z went to Cuba and they get on Jay-Z for that. She was in Cuba. She was chilling. Why she don't get I no responsibility? Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's the, the you heard, you never heard, Hold on, you never heard this nah. story. Jay-Z and Beyonce went to Cuba. Okay. Uh, Republicans had a problem with that because we're not allowed to go to Cuba. Okay. And Jay-Z did a song called Open Letter and he responded basically saying, Obama gave me permission, but he's saying, like, you're going to get me impeached if you keep doing stuff like this. Basically saying that Obama let him go. And it's been a big deal. Oh, I don't listen to hip-hop, so okay. Oh, you don't have to. It was all over the CNN, Fox News, everything. When was this? It was a big deal. A couple of weeks but ago. they never said anything oh. about Beyonce. They, everything they said was about Jay-Z. How I'm did she get away with it? Beyonce is the, the nice, courteous person because people like her, she but Jay Z is. But don't think I'm her. just his little wife. Don't get it twisted. That's what she said. So why she ain't getting blamed for none of this stuff? I'm telling why are you y'all. blaming Jay Z when she said I ain't his little wife? This is I'm doing this. I'm because people look at Jay Z maybe as a as a, a more of a authoritative or physical threat than they do her. Yeah. Physical think about it. Think about it. You got, you got, you got to, you got to, you got to think about it from the standpoint. And we're looking at people's past too. You got a reform drug dealer versus a girl who grew up with a family and stuff like that. Who was grew up like, kind of not church privileged, girl. like a church girl. So you-